Hello children, today we shall go through lesson 11, the Rajput period. By the dawn of the 11th century, many landlords emerged by grabbing the rights of the king and called themselves Rajput. The word Rajput is derived from the Sanskrit word Rajputra, which means son of king. So the history of Rajputas is one of the major parts of the early medieval history. Let's know about some of the major dynasties of Rajputas. These were as follows. Pratihara, Grahwal, Chauhan, Chandela and Parmara. Let's find out more about these dynasties in detail one by one. Pratihara dynasty. The Pratiharas were also called Gurjars. The first powerful ruler of this dynasty was Nagbhatta I. Rajpal was the last ruler of this dynasty. Garwal dynasty of Kannauj. The founder of this dynasty was Chandradev. Garwals made Kannauj their capital, while Kashi was their second capital. Children, please note, Kannauj was the most important city and the center of activities for the Rajputas. The last ruler of Garwal dynasty was Jachan, who was defeated by Muhammad Ghori in the Battle of Chandavar. Now coming to the Chauhan dynasty. This dynasty was founded by Vasudeva. The capital of this dynasty was Delhi. The most glorious ruler of this dynasty was Prithviraj Chauhan. Prithviraj Chauhan defeated Muhammad Ghori in the first battle of the Rhine in 1191. Now coming to the Chandelas of Bundelkhand. The founder of this dynasty was Nanu. The famous Kandarya Mahadeva temple of Khujuraho is built by the Chandelas. The next one is Parmara dynasty. This dynasty was founded by Upendra. The chief rulers of this dynasty were Munja and Raja Bhoj. Let's know about one more dynasty that was Pala dynasty of Bengal. King Gopala was the founder of this dynasty. Dharampala, son of Gopal, was the follower of Buddhists and founded the Vikram Shila University. Let's know about the society during the Rajput period. Feudalism started at this time. Feudalism means Samantwad, Jisme Zameen ka Malik, Chote Chote Samanto ya Zamidaro ko apni Zameen Kheti ke liye dete te. Badle me ye Samant ya Zamidar, Landlords ko ek fixed income har saal dete te. The Panchayati Ra system, which originated during the Mauryan period, is still existed in this time. The warriors and ruling class were chief in the society. Child marriages and sati system were prevailing in this time. Widow remarriage was forbidden. There was rigid class system means jati vivastha ko strictly follow kiya jata tha. Let's know about the contribution of Rajputas in the field of education and literature. During the period of Rajputas, education was given in ashrams, schools and universities. Nalanda, Vikramshila, Ujjaini, Kannauj, Kashi, Dharanagri were the leading centers of education. Some famous scholars of this period were Rajshekhar, Bharvi, Mark, Jaydev and Chandavardai. Let's know about one more important feature of this time, the architectural style. These were 
the north indian style and the south indian style the north indian style was also called nagra lingraj temple of bhuvaneshwar is a fine example of this style the south indian style was called dravidian style Minakshi temple is a prime example of Dravidian architecture. So children this was the brief history of the Rajputas dynasties in India. That's all for today children. Goodbye.